Okay, guys, welcome to Charlie's Rabbit Hole Tours. Yeah, I know. I said I wasn't going to touch these because they were so beautiful. And then a couple things kind of dawned on me, and it, it bugged me enough that I had to do a little work to them. You can see right there, you see this dip? It's not much. But that little change in area bugged me a little bit. And if you take a look, you don't have, they're not very thick tubes. They're only like 60 thousandths thick, and they're made of aluminum. So, you don't have a ton of material to fiddle with. So, I wanted to equalize that a little bit. And in order to do that, I did my, my burr finish. And then, it was a little rougher than I wanted, so I did go over it with... Uh, I can't for the life of me remember what the heck that's called but it does a really really nice job uh, you can make it a mirror finish if you want to now why won't I use a mirror finish first of all I don't like mirror finishes except for very very high speed areas okay and it is batch fire injection I do think we're going to get a little fuel coming up the tubes so I'd like I kind of did a combination texture on it, okay? Where I hit it with the burr, and then I hit it with this, so you'll see some divots in some places. It'll be completely smooth. Now, these were all done the same, but like this one here, you can hardly see any any divots of the the burr. Okay? You can see... Well, that spot in the roof can't I couldn't equalize it perfectly the way I wanted to so there's still a change in area there from where the tube gets a little bit larger where it's swedged in but I did the best I could to, to make that change in area as slow as possible okay we're not going to affect the air much at that now as far as all the way in the tubes can only go so far in, okay? And we can't bang up this flange because it's got to stay nice so we get a good gasket scale. So I did what I could and the inside radius was actually polished like I do a short side radius where I take a strip of sand cloth and I go through it. So, but that doesn't work on all of it. I mean, I don't know whether you guys will be able to see that or not. A little tough to focus. But you can see where that inside radius there. Yeah, that's probably our best light. That inside radius there is polished. Now, why did I go through all this work? No, no exaggeration. If I told you how many hours I put into these runners that I said I wasn't going to touch, you'd say, Charlie, there's something wrong with you. Well, we know the answer to that. In any case... Because I like, I like things the way I like things. I don't care if it's if I spend some time doing it, because at the end of the job, I am going to feel good about what I did. Okay, that's important to me. Now, what else can we say about these? Overall, very nice, high quality piece. Now, the way we have it set up right now, the head flows to seventy. I don't remember exactly what it flowed through the base, but if I put these on and I put a little clay around them, they flow about 250, which is pretty damn good. You got to remember, it's not just the runner; it's the runner, the base, and the cylinder head. We're getting 250. That's a good number. Now, customer and I discussed what we really want to get out of this when it's all said and done. That's a tough number to get. But I came pretty close, and I'm pretty happy with it. And it's not 100% finalized. I do have to do some more gasket matching. I actually have to put the heads on the uh, 010 block I've got. i got to get it on the stand. I told him I would uh, do the Eric Weingartner, uh, the way he does gasket match, where he drills little eighth-inch holes to align everything. 
I think that's a great method. I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using that on the manifold. And uh, it may go up a few CFM, but it won't be a huge difference. Now, I should talk about the two different flow sheets you guys are going to see. Okay, they, they use different plenums. Let's take a quick look at my plenum versus the plenum I did up for this project. Okay, this is my plenum. Okay, this is the one that has the infinity style openings. You can see there's a lot of parts in the plenum that weren't even touched. This was completely opened up for uh, a single blade, even though I don't own a single blade. That was part of the project that we were working on at that point. Uh, it, as far as like this area, where this, I don't know if you guys can see that, that comes out quite a bit from the edge of like a 58 to here. It comes in quite a bit, which is not really what you want to do because this is, this is our port entrance. So it's really going the wrong direction before it enters the port. Now this part right here where you see the tip of my finger has very high speed air. Okay, because the air is trying to get around that tight corner. Not, that's obviously, it's a, that's runner number one. That's probably one of our lowest flowing runners, strictly because it's so close to the throttle body. Okay, now I also ran, I ran the bench and I ran a string through there. I mean, you can see, even when the air comes through this barrel, it takes a hard, hard left-hand turn to get in there. And uh, I should mention that when you, you bring this out, you definitely have to be careful how much material you take out. This gets very thin. Both of these design plenums are the same. They get very thin right there, so pay attention to that. This is the customer's plenum. You may notice the circles aren't white circles because I have my 58 millimeter and I have to put it so we don't have any sharp edges anywhere. So I had to kind of put it together, jiggle its position up and down a little bit, make sure we covered all, all access points. Is it a big deal if this hole is a touch bigger than our throttle body? Nope, not gonna matter. Okay, now this one here, you can see I did, I did do this a slight bit different. If you can see, it's tough to get focused, but I used a more fine texture going into this radius than I did on my old plenum. Okay, but the old plenum has got more area open. I didn't want to do that on this because I'm not 100% sure what this triangle does. I believe that's for the idle air control passage and this is going to be a street ride so it needs to idle correctly and, and be good so we're going, to, we're going to leave that yes this section right here is a little thin it doesn't matter there's no there's no metal there on the throttle body or at least my bbk there's no metal there okay my bbk doesn't have any metal there so it doesn't really matter how thick or thin that is uh, I did do a little work on my BBK, and the only reason I did is the customer hasn't sent me a throttle body, and I may not even get it. So I took my rougher texture, my burr texture off, and I did a, a sand roll texture. Yes, it actually cost me a few CFM. It doesn't sound right, right guys? It did. But I felt that it was a closer representation of if he bought a throttle body and bolted it on everything else that I, I put together. So that's how it's going to stay. Okay, I believe this is the last flow sheet you guys saw. Between 500 and 600, we were at 225, 228, right in that area. Not bad. Y you know, it's through a throttle body, a plenum, runners, base, cylinder head. That is a long and torturous path for air to go. Okay, and if you look at the numbers, take a look at 300, 188.1. I got news for you. A lot of cylinders heads have trouble making that. 
by themselves. So take it for what it's worth. Not bad. You can make good power on this. Now part of the part of the thing that's going to mess with our our dyno work oh, with this this is planned on being dynoed at some point is the TPI tends to add about 50 foot pounds of torque in the mid range and sucks up like 50 horsepower at the top due to the Helmholtz uh, resonance pulses. We will find out, but in any case, we were pretty good where we were. This is where we are now. After I did the different plenum, remember this is my this is my plenum, okay. This is the customer's plenum, okay. So it says lightly ported TPIS base hasn't hasn't changed a bit. ASM runners with equalization. That's what I call doing the uh, the little bit of work where I take some of the swedging uh, abruptness out. Ported plenum, ported fifty eight. How'd we do? Well, we lost in a couple little spots, but we gained everywhere else, okay? And between 500 and 600, we're right about where we were hoping to get this project. Now, this is runner number one. As far as I know, I also have to tap, I have to, I forget, there may be another runner that's worse. If you know which runner is worse than that, put it in the comments. And I certainly will check it. I am going to check number eight, which is all the way at the end of the plenum. Okay, you can see it's taped up, but our our last hole is all the way down here. This is a little restricted because they did this cutout for the distributor. So the air has to come all the way down the plenum and then make that tight turn. Now, I haven't even done this side of the plenum yet. I could probably do what I can do on that. But I don't really think it's going to be very far off from the number one. Let's take a quick look at our swirl. We were decent with our swirl here, right? Over 2,000 at between 500 and 600. We're good. How do we do here? We are a little bit less. Okay, we got plus equals plus minus 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 minus. Are we okay? It's about 1,700 is about my minimum number. So we're at our minimum number. Now, remember, like drag racers don't like a ton of swirl, right? They would rather have that energy fill in the cylinder. Something like this, we kind of need as much energy fill in the cylinder as we can get because we have the Helmholtz going against us at higher RPM. In any case, 232, 235... Through all that runner length, not bad. I'm pretty proud of it. It was a ton of work. Not that I'm complaining about it. You know me. I'm dumb. I like I like a good challenge. Try to get me to do another one. That'll be probably difficult to do. It was uh, it was a lot, and I still have plenty more work to do just to completely finish it up. Uh, is there going to be much more to show you guys? I don't know. I may not have a, a video for a while. Today is Memorial Day. Hope you guys are enjoying it, and which uh, and appreciate why we have the day to relax. I know I appreciate it. In any case, I can't think of anything else, guys. The best of you and yours. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.